Okay. Hello. Uh, this topic 11 will be a very short one. It's on maximum power transfer theorem. Okay. So in many applications, it's desirable to have maximum power transfer to the load. Okay. Well, the theorem states that when a source is connected to a load, a maximum power is delivered to the load when the load resistance when the load resistance is equal to internal source resistance, Rs. So, therefore, in another word, if you have these configurations right here, okay, um, so it looks like they were in equivalent circuit, right? So yeah, this is like your VTH, right? And this is your RTH, okay? Um, if you connect a load to it, okay, you would have maximum power transfer to this RL, this load. If your RL here, is equal to Rs. Okay. So whenever you have a, a problem asking for maximum power transfer, okay, what is your RL to have maximum power transfer? You can apply Thevenin theorem. Okay, Thevenin theorem right away. Okay. So your RL become pretty much RTH. Okay. And your maximum power transfer would be VTH square, right, over four times RTH. So this is like your VTH. And this is your RTH, okay, if you use Thevenin. Okay, let's uh, look at the example, okay. The example asks you to find RL for maximum power transfer, okay, and also find the value of the maximum power. Uh, so in this case, let's find uh, RL, the value of RL first. As I said before, we have to use uh, so-called Thevenin theorem, and RL is simply, simply your RTH. So therefore, to find RTH for this circuit, first we remove RL, right? Remove RL out, so we have open circuit for AB. We short the 6 volt, the voltage source, right? 6K ohms, okay? And then we open the current source. And this becomes your circuit to find R total, which is R thevenin, which will come uh, will become what 6k right I'm sorry this is 3k 3k parallel with 6k and in series with 2k ohm so therefore the answer is 4k ohm so your RTH is equal to 4k ohms and to have a maximum power transfer your RL must be equal to RTH so equal to 4k ohm so this is your RL Okay, right now we want to find VTH okay to be able to find maximum power transfer to RL okay I'm gonna erase this okay I'm gonna find um, now my VTH find VTH so I'm going to so this I'm gonna use this figure right here this circuit okay we remove RL already you want to find what is this V open circuit right here okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I sort of like um, voltage source more than current source. I see that this 2 milliamp is parallel with 2K. I'm going to transform them okay, into voltage source. So 2K ohms. And this is positive, negative. For volt, for volt come from 2 milliamps, right? Multiplied by 2K ohms. And this is your VOC right here. 6k ohms okay this become I transform my current source to water source and then I look at the circuit and I see that okay I'm gonna you know I, I need to see what the current goes current goes here comes here from the 6 volt come here right come to this junction of course it doesn't go here correct it doesn't go here because it's open right here right it's open so all the current go through this loop as the current flow through there's Voltage drop plus minus, let's call this V1, right? Voltage across 6K ohms, okay? Now, VOC, I'm going to write down VOC. I'm going to write, um, write down KVL for this loop. So KVL, okay? Well, VOC, see positive first. And I come here, see minus V1, right? Come here. Well, this is zero volt, correct? Because there's no current going through 2K ohms, so zero volt. And then come here, see negative 4 equal to zero. So therefore, VOC equal to V1 plus 4. So my question is, what is V1? Okay, what is V1? Well, if you look here, V1, right? V1 is... V1 is right here. Oops. 
V1 divided out from the 6 volt, right? Okay, because if, if you look at this loop right here, 6 volt equal to, 6 volt would be equal to V drop across 3K plus V1. So V1 divided out from 6 volt. So I'm going to use voltage dividers, right? So therefore, V1 equal to, right, Rx is 6K ohms divided by R total, right? That the 6 volt, right, because V1 divided out from the 6 volt, um, V1 give its uh, 6 volt, right, give itself to V drop across 3K and 6K, and they're both created in series, so it's 3K plus 6K, so equal to 6K over 9K multiplied by 6 volt, so the answer is 4. 4 volt, so therefore VOC equal to 4 plus 4 equal to 8 volt, right? So right here, right here, okay? So therefore we have, it's so pretty much VTH equal to 8 volt, and your RTH equal to 4K ohms, and RL equal to 4K ohms. So therefore, this would be your picture, this is mistake, so it's 4K ohms, okay? You reinsert your RL in, well, right, and then your RL turn out to be 4K ohms to get the maximum power transfer to the 4K ohms. And you can find um, your maximum power using I square R or V square over R or that um, formula that's given above. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And this is it. Okay. For maximum power transfer theorem. Please remember, if you ask maximum power transfer uh, questions, if you ask, think of Thevenin theorem. Thank you.